ओके ओके वेलकम टू द माइक्रो इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स आर यू एबल टू हियर माय वॉइस विल कंटिन्यू यस आय सर सो वी लर्न हियर दैट फर्स्ट अबाउट द माइक्रो फंडामेंटल थ्योरी माइक्रो फंडामेंटल वी लर्न फर्स्ट and then we continue with the wave guide components and later on we'll see that the micro tubes and all so these are about the sources that is micro tube and the device solid state devices these are the micro sources and that devices are used to generate the micro signal or amplifying the signal or amplification of a micro signal. now the fourth one is a solid state device so everything is about your diodes and all that will be useful useful to generate the micro frequency or that will be useful to amplify the signal so these are about the solid state devices we have been seeing then in fifth model we have the micro measurement so which of the micro signals are generated that can be measured or which of the amplification takes place that can be measured so that measurement can be done through the micro measurement setup so how to do the measurement of a signal frequency micro signal frequency or micro signal amplification that we have the micro measurement topic what is the phase of the signal what will be the power and everything that we'll see in this model 5 micro measurement topic next one is about a micro strip line and antenna so now today's world the micro strip line is used everywhere even if you are using a mobile phone in a mobile phone that micro strip line is there and it has a micro strip antenna in a mobile phone. so we learn that how that micro strip antenna is working and how it is to be used and how to design that micro strip antenna that we will see here so overall if you see that all the models that is step by step here we initially we understand that what in by this micro then in second we see that what are the line or a transmission medium to be used for the micro and then how that micro signals are generated how it is to be measured and how it is to be transmitted through this antenna that is about the steps in a micro engineer and then where these micro signals are used micro frequency signals everywhere it is used nowadays so we have a mobile phone it is work in a 5g applications or a 4g application now in india it has a 4g not a 5g so this micro is used micro signals used in that particular band as well as for the satellite communication this micro signal frequencies are used so what is the frequency band to be considered as a micro band so for that purpose we should know that a electromagnetic band or we can say that what will be the communication medium band so as you studied earlier there are the low frequency high frequency various bands are there and based on those particular band out of that particular band which one is related to the micro frequency band so that is about your band frequency or band designation you should know and then we exactly then we start your whatever the micro engineer so before that you should know that what are the various micro frequency band and ranging in which band your micro frequency is lie there that we need to be studied so we start here with band first so before to start the band first so why this band is related to the microwave that we start so here a microwave okay that is about a band that is about a branch that we are dealing with microwave that is about the engineering branch then if you divide this letter microwave so that micro is nothing but a small 
it is about a small wave if you write a different way here that is about a small and then wave if you combine that a small wave here so wave is small means what wave means what define wave okay now this is about a signal so what is the wave okay this is about nothing but wave okay that is one period okay okay after that twice pi of duration so we can say that one period is there and that is nothing but a wave so the word is about a small wave small wave means what a signal frequency that we can say that is about high frequency is high but wave is a small so that is wave is nothing but it with respect to the wave length so that length of that particular wave which is small wave small wave means length of the wave is a very very small so that's why whichever the lambda we say that is a very very small now earlier we have said that a frequency band or electromagnetic band what you can say that band designations related to the frequency but now we need now we need to talk about the wavelength we will not talk about directly in terms of a frequency we talk about the wavelength and then based on the wavelength we have some criteria and we have to define some criteria about the micro frequency signal so most of the time if we say that this signal is propagating so we need to talk about in terms of a wavelength even you might have learned in optical communication engineering those who have opportunity for that course so we are not talk in terms of a frequency we say everything in terms of a wavelength so similarly in a micro frequency most of the term we need to relate to the wavelength not in terms of a frequency there but if you define that what is the micro frequency range so we can write the micro frequency range in terms of a frequency but mostly we need to say that everything is to be related to the wavelength so at 0.3 gigahertz what will be the wavelength and at 300 gigahertz what will be the wavelength now gigahertz that unit i think you came across in this course itself here that giga giga is nothing but what we can say that a 10 to the power 9 hertz okay that is about a gigahertz so whatever the frequency we have it is in a gigahertz suppose i am saying that a 0.3 gigahertz of frequency we can say that it is nothing but what a 0.3 into 10 to the power 9 there okay so 0.3 into 10 to the power 9 so 10 to the power 9 is nothing but a, a gigahertz so we earlier seen that a frequency it is in a megahertz megahertz means what it is about it 10 to the power 6 hertz kilohertz you people might have seen that is about it 10 to the power 3 hertz but here we have learned that micro frequency range in terms of 10 to the power 9 hertz that is that is defined as a, a gigahertz here and there are various bands and that bands are defined in the electromagnetic engineering and then from the various particular bands we say that this band is related to your microwave frequency now what are those various bands so if we start here to write that band designations and all that is important and from our point of view we need to learn that a band designations for this signal or for this microwave signal that we say that earlier we say that is about 0.3 gigahertz to a 300 gigahertz now i triple standard says that that bands are defined with respect to their name and their frequency range suppose i say that a high frequency band is there okay 
felt for the high frequency so what is the frequency range for the high frequency that is 3 to 30 megahertz and we have the wavelength is about that hundred to ten meter. Okay, so then this one is nothing but a frequency, and we can say that this one is about a frequency range, and this one is nothing but we can say that wavelength range, or we can say that a lambda. We can specify directly. Then a UHF band, sorry, VHF band. Now that VHF band is about what? 30 to 300 megahertz. Then here it has a, a 10 meter to 1 meter. Then a UHF band that is about 0.3. 1 gigahertz means what we can say that a 300 megahertz 0.3 to 1 gigahertz nothing but what a 300 megahertz to 1 gigahertz and in this case our wavelength is about what 100 to 30 centimeter okay that is about our wavelength next about L band That is about a band designation. Most of the time, it is to be used one to two gigahertz. It is to be remember always. And for this, thirty to fifteen centimeter. Then a S band. Then it has a sorry 2 to 4 gigahertz and then 15 to 7.5 centimeter then a C band that is 4 to 8 gigahertz 7.5 to 3.75 centimeter then a x band that is 8 to 12 gigahertz and 3.75 to 2.5 centimeter okay then a KU band KU band is about what 12 to 18 gigahertz that is what 2.5 to 1.67 centimeter Then K band that is 18 to 26 gigahertz and it is about what 1.67 to 1.0 centimeter. Then a K band that is Twenty six to forty gigahertz and wavelength is about what ten to 
seventy five. Yeah, ma'am. Now then, in millimeter waves, that is about we can say that a forty two three hundred gigahertz. That is about in millimeter waves. And here yeah, is seven point five to one mm. Okay, so likewise. So we have these are the micro band designation, and these micro band designations to be used. And above that three hundred gigahertz, we say it is about a a sub millimeter wave. Okay, so that is about a I triple E micro band of frequencies, and that we are learning here. And we supposed to be know that what are the various terms required for this. micro frequency range and what are the various frequency range is required to be learned for this given particular mode so that's why we start here with the first band and then based on this particular micro frequency band then we'll proceed towards the what is the micro frequencies and all okay so that is about a first we should know that what we are learning here and our frequency range is about a micro frequency range is about from this a 0.3 gigahertz to that a 300 gigahertz okay that is about a last 300 gigahertz that is about our micro frequency range. and if you see the micro component which is working in our lab these are in the x band of a frequency that is about a 8 to 12 gigahertz your micro frequency band or you can say that whatever the micro wave guides components are available in our lab that are working in this 8 to 12 gigahertz of a frequency and all our applications here so that we are relating everything with respect to the micro frequency range so that is about A band of a micro frequencies. So now we will start here. What are the characteristics of a micro frequency? So now characteristics, various characteristics are there, and that characteristics are related to your micro frequency signal or your wavelength. So that's why we can. We need to learn that what are the various characteristics of the micro signal. Characteristics of micro here that we learn okay now what are the various characteristics of a micro wave so that we need to be see here so now from the our point of view we say that the characteristics of a micro signal that we can say that it is about a word a micro that is we say it is about a small one so now since it is about a small wave okay so we can say that small wave so that's why we can say that a characteristics of a micro signal is nothing but it has a short wavelength because your wave is just small so that's why the characteristics of a micro if you see that it has a, a short wavelength now due to the short wavelength so it has a more bandwidth because the frequency range for the micro wave we say that earlier it is about 0.3 to 300 gigahertz okay that we have so that's why 
another characteristics of a microwave signal or a microwave frequency is nothing but what it has a large bandwidth okay it has a short wavelength because short wavelength means what that is about a lambda is very very small as we have seen earlier that is about a table ieee ieee band designation that we have seen if you see that that wavelength is decreasing when we increase our frequency so it is about lowest about 1 mit 1 mm that is about your wavelength so that is about a short wavelength along with that we say it is has a, a large bandwidth there now this bandwidth is a large so that requirement for this antenna at a micro frequency is again a small antenna because antenna size is depending upon the wavelength we say that wavelength is small so antenna size is small because we relate our antenna size or antenna length that is depending upon your wavelength as you people have studied earlier in a modulation why we learn a modulation decrease the height of an antenna okay that is about one concept we have learned in a modulation there or we can require or we require that size of that antenna is to be a small if we use a modulation similarly at a micro frequency that height that size of an antenna is a small there so if we are getting or if we are designing the small antenna small size antenna then we are naturally getting the large gain or we'll get that a beam of antenna is to be a narrow beam means what a radius